President Trump's new guidelines to reopen the economy would roll out in three phases. China records its first ever contraction in quarterly GDP. And Gilead Sciences shares soar on reports that the company's experimental drug may be performing well in clinical trials. I'm Shelby Holliday, and here's what you need to know today. The U.S. death toll from coronavirus spiked yesterday to nearly double the prior record, as governors extended lockdowns and President Trump sketched out a three-phase process to reopen the economy. We're starting our life again. We're starting rejuvenation of our economy again. The guidelines don't suggest specific dates, but put the onus on governors to decide based on data. States could enter the first phase after a downward trend of cases over 14 days. Venues including movie theaters, restaurants and gyms could open with strict social distancing rules. In phase two, non-essential travel and school activities could resume, and bars could reopen with restrictions. For the final phase, people could go back to their workplaces and visit hospitals. China's economy shrank 6.8 percent, the first such drop since Beijing started reporting quarterly GDP numbers in 1992. Although better than economists' forecasts, the sharp contraction shows how the country was hit by unprecedented lockdowns and foreshadows the pain expected globally. Retail sales fell around 16 percent in March, much worse than the 8 percent expected by some economists. State media also reported that the death toll in Wuhan jumped by 50 percent after officials adjusted the figure to include people who had died at home and to correct misreporting from overwhelmed hospitals. Shares of Gilead Sciences rose more than 16 percent after hours after a report that the company's experimental drug remdesivir may be performing well in clinical trials of COVID-19 patients. The health news site STAT reported that a Chicago doctor said most patients enrolled in a company-sponsored trial were discharged. However, that's far from a final clinical trial result. Analysts caution that the study doesn't include a comparison group, making it difficult to interpret the results. Analysts say the drug is unlikely to be a significant financial driver for Gilead.